WBHT Local Lifestyles continues. It is always good to have Evansville's Mayor Lloyd Winnicky here to share ex more exciting news about downtown growth and how that impacts the entire city. It's good to see you again. Good to be seen. So what's new? Well, uh, I should say what isn't. <laughs> tomorrow is a big day, so ground will be broken on the second building on the downtown medical school campus. You know, we have the Stone Family Center for yes. Health Sciences. Caddy Corner from it. Uh, tomorrow, ground will be broken on about a 95,000 square foot uh, facility that will house a new Deaconess Clinic and clinical research from IU. That is really a big deal. When is it uh, uh, slated to be completed? So, you know, probably 16, 18 months. There you see a well, rendering uh, uh, what it will look like. That uh, The way you see it right there on the screen, it's actually facing east. So you see a pedestrian crosswalk that will lead into the Locust Street parking garage. So if you're a, oh, uh, I see now. Okay, yeah, if you're a, a patient of the Deaconess Clinic, you'll be able to walk right from the parking garage into that facility. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, this is part of the vision for that four and a half or five block area that over time it would all be built out in the health science uh, field. Uh, Dr. Steve Becker, who's the dean of the School of Medicine in Evansville, doing a great job with his team getting people and the key players in, in place to help build this because literally they are building a new pipeline of healthcare professionals that will make our community and our region and actually our state uh, better from a health healthcare perspective. When the original plans came out, you'll have to refresh my memory and the audience to build the medical center. How many phases are there in, well, the, in that project? We've built, uh, uh, we've we purchased like four and a half blocks. So okay. we, ideally, over time, that entire four and a half, five block area will be built out. Uh, initially, the, the project was uh, contemplated that IU, UV, and USI be on campus and Ivy Tech. Ivy Tech was eliminated at the state level for a variety of reasons, and we'd like one day to get Ivy Tech's health science classes uh, on this campus. So that's a long-term goal. Uh, and well, there that's are, a smart, yeah. that's a smart and, co connection. And, and there are other things that are sort of uh, early in the pipeline that people are kind of talking about that we think could come to this campus area. So uh, a lot of potential. Uh, I, I've said recently at an event, we think we know how important it's going to be, but I think when we look back in 10 years or 20 years, we won't know the true impact because it will be so much bigger than what, what we anticipated. Yeah, it's always fun to cast the vision, but when the reality comes and you do look back and go, that was really huge and a catalyst for so many other things. When you have these kinds of plans and also things that are already in place, what does that do? What is the impact on the city in, well, in the present day and then, of course, forecast forward? Look what's happened downtown as a downtown resident. You know, all these businesses that have opened, we've opened... When I say we, it's the regal we, not, not, <laughs> not, the, not the city, and not I, but uh, more than city, uh, 60 businesses have opened on or around Main Street in the last three years in anticipation of what's happening with the medical school campus. So uh, that Stone Family Center for Health Sciences today has four or 500 people a day in that building. So that's four or 500 people a day coming to downtown right. that two years ago or one year ago was not coming to downtown. So uh, it's a huge impact. It really is, and it's exciting to see, especially because we, we live right down the midst of it and you see all these things happening. And one of the things I love, and I think you and I have talked about this, is the spirit of abundance that all the businesses have, like all the designers support each other, all the restaurants support each other. They say, you know, we, maybe I don't do this look, but go over to no, no, Angelay or go to Elements or go to Y Factor. I love that. Yeah, there, is a, that there is a great sense of community that goes beyond the doors of one proprietor's business. Yes. And you do sense that, whether it's at a restaurant or a design studio or whatever. And that is a... It's hard to quantify that, mm -hmm. but it's a really nice feeling. It is. It, is, it feels good all the way around. Uh, town Hall? City Hall? Town uh, hall traveling City Hall, uh, Wednesday night at C.K. Newsom. Uh, as I've talked about before, uh, this year we're putting a, a focus on not-for-profit organizations. This year, Aurora is going to, or this week, uh, Aurora is going to be there. We're going to talk about the homeless population and what the, the broader community is doing uh, to help those who are chronically homeless. And it's, it, people will be, I think, stunned to find out what the statistics are and what's being done. Yeah, there is. I mean, there are over 400 people, 425 or 30 people a night or a day who are homeless in the city. But there's extraordinary collaboration that goes on among community stakeholders to provide the best services possible to those most vulnerable uh, among us. 
So this is a great opportunity to ask some questions right. and, and learn more about what's going on. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Always good to see you. I'll see you downtown. Absolutely. We'll be back with more local lifestyles. We're going to learn what's coming from the Doula Group. There they are.